All right, y'all, so I'm here to test out something a little bit different, or at least different for me today. Um, today I'm checking out the Bogren Digital Amp Knob MLC. I've been looking at this, I've seen a couple of videos on it. It actually sounds really sick. I've seen a couple of downtune videos, which sounded great as well. So I actually wrote the song that you're about to hear in drop C sharp. And so I haven't written in that tuning in quite a while and it actually came out really sick. Before we go any further, I should mention that this is not a sponsored post. I did purchase this with my own money. I was not given this plugin, uh, but I do have an affiliate link in the description. So if you do decide to buy it because you liked the way it sounded in this video, please go ahead and use that link for me. It helps me out and helps me to keep making these videos. So let's go ahead and listen to this plugin in the context of a full demo and then we'll jump right in. All right, so as you can see, this plugin is obviously capable of bringing the chugs, right? It's also capable of bringing out the melody and the really chimey chords that I like to play, especially on the GOC Illumina that you saw in the video there. Uh, what's really cool though is this plugin is extremely simple to use. If we look here in Logic right now, when you open up the plugin, this is literally what you get. So you've got a power switch, you've got a pedal, which is like an overdrive, and then you've got your gain knob. Super simple, right? Uh, we do also have a cab section down here where you can just between a modern cab and a vintage cab. Really simple. You've got a tuner built in, very, very useful here. Uh, you've got some settings and everything you can go through here if you need to. The noise gate, I didn't honestly adjust anything. Right where it was at was perfect for the pickups and the uh, output of the pickups that I've got. I left the input alone and the output I did drop a little bit because I didn't want it to clip or anything inside of the mix itself. So I did drop that mix a little bit. But here's what that sounds like by itself. <laughs> You can hear how it's actually really clear. Even with the gain knob turned most of the way up, it still stays really clear. I'm gonna hit play again, and I'm actually going to pan through the gain a little bit so you guys can hear what that gain is doing. So I'm gonna start at zero and bring it up. That's about where I wanted it. I wanted it at eight, but let's keep going and see what it sounds like. So as you can hear, the gain knob is actually really responsive, so you can get a ton of different range of sounds. I know that obviously I played just heavy riffs with this, but this is capable of a lot if you wanted to. You can bring it down and get those lower gain sounds, which are pretty cool. If you notice, the little light is changing based on high gain, mid gain, and then low gain. So the plugin is very, very simple because of that. And obviously it's modeled after the MLC Mark L Custom. Um, this is a really awesome amplifier. You can find some videos on the real amp on YouTube. Uh, but having it here in the one knob plugin for what 40 bucks is actually pretty cool And I really do suggest that you purchase this one. It fits right into the mix And now as far as what else I've done to this tone, it's actually pretty simple So I'm gonna bring up my EQ here. So you notice on the EQ. I've got some pretty generic moves, right? I've got a high cut and then I've got a low cut I do have a high shelf at 5300 and then I do have a good little boost right here at uh, what 1440 I think it was I just like how that sounds so let's take a listen with and without this <laughs> Just brightens it up a little bit. Now what's doing a little bit of extra work here is I did have an instance of Pro-Q3 that I completely forgot that I threw on here. And you see it's got a gigantic high shelf that's at 1529 and up. And then I do have some cuts. Uh, this one I turned off, so the 2800 I turned off. But I do have a cut at 3755 and 4306. Those were just ended up being some whistly frequencies that I didn't like. So let's go ahead and A and B with this. <laughs> Thank you. 
So you can hear how it really brightens up the signal there, but it also still takes away those whistling frequencies. And that was it. That's actually really, really simple. Um, for the actual mix, I did throw on a bus compressor here. And so this is just the Better Maker bus compressor. And this is uh, just a simple setting here. So if you hear it, let's go ahead and A and B this. So we'll turn it off. <laughs> So all it's doing is squashing it a little bit and bringing up the volume a little bit as well, and it helped it sit in the mix for me. So that was pretty much it as far as that guitar tone. But what I did for the mix is a little bit different. I actually do have a lot going on here. So let's go ahead and start out with the drums. I've got my favorite Robot Dog drums going on here. This is a very easy drum kit to use. So we've got their alternative metal preset on here, but I did change the snare over to the Lud Supra 6.5. And the kick, I believe I left as the Great Maple. Yes, I did leave that as a Great Maple. Everything else is the standard for that alternative metal preset that they've got. So this is what that sounds like. Now for the mix on that, what I did was throw on a compressor, very simple, right? So I have the Townhouse bus compressor and I do have a clipper on there making sure it's cutting off those snare peaks at negative three. And then on the kick and snare themselves, I do have a little bit of extra processing going. So on the kick, I did add an instance of Pro Q3, just giving some bumps over here and then a high and low cut, and then a little bit of compression going on in the low end for it as well. And then the snare, I really just wanted to kind of accentuate that uh, resonant tone that it's got, and then obviously cut out some of the extra noise. And I left it alone other than that because I didn't want to do too much. This was a very simple, very bare bones mix. Uh, on my mix bus, I do have some extra processing going as well, um, which in those raw guitar tones you heard earlier, I had all of this turned off. I just turned it back on for this portion of the video. So if we open up, I have my mix bus EQ, and these are just some generic moves with a little bit of gain reduction because uh, some of these boosts added quite a bit of uh, gain to the mix itself. And we've got my bus compressor as well. So I really do love the Townhouse uh, mix bus compressor. It's really, really simple to use and dial in and just really gives it that extra bit of glue that we need. And then JSC Maximizer. This is my favorite plugin to end my plugin chain as far as my master bus goes. And you'll notice that I've got the Maximizer turned up quite a bit. This song had no vocals or anything, so I was able to actually crank this quite a bit. A little bit of low end compression going, lots of saturation, or at least to my ears, there's a lot of saturation. And then just a few other things going on here. Um, if we go over to the Spectrum Analyzer, I did bring down this high end frequency spectrum by 0.7 dB just because it was cutting off a little bit of that high end. It was just a little bit too much, a little bit too harsh. So I brought all of that down and that brings us to sound like this. So as you can see, this is a pretty simple, pretty bare bones mix, like I said, but the Bogren Digital Amp Knob MLC Zero, it's just a really easy plugin to use, honestly, and hence the single knob with gain, you just crank it up. I didn't use any external IRs or anything on this one, and usually uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you've seen me always use like the Esprit IRs or even Bogren Digital IRs usually, actually. Uh, this one I didn't. I just threw the plugin on as I was recording, which is great because it's also super low latency, like all of Bogren Digital stuff and I just got to writing. And that's kind of what I need when it comes down to everything. I have so many different plugins, so many different like options when it comes to guitar tones. And you know, option paralysis is a real thing and it does tend to cut into the time as far as like you should be writing, but instead you're tone chasing. So it just doesn't make sense to keep doing that. These amp knob plugins are great because of that. And again, I do have a link in the description down below. So if you do decide to purchase this, please consider using that link for me. It would help out a ton. So I hope that this video helped you all out and I do look forward to making some more with this. I've got a couple more of Bogren Digital's products that I've uh, purchased, but let me know in the comments which one you'd like to hear from me because I'm not opposed to any of them really. So peace out y'all.